hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is naima if you're new welcome back here we talk about everything everything possible it's a sit down video channel and chit chat basically should i say podcast i don't know but like the chit chat channel if it's something you're interested in please subscribe before you leave and if you're a return subscriber welcome to this channel and welcome to my beautiful face so in today's video i'll be just you guys guys how i made my 100,000 Naira at 19. Yes, I was 19 when I made my 100,000 Naira. I know it is small to some of you. In your mind, you'll be like, I even thought it was 1 million Naira. It is not 1 million, it is 100,000 Naira. And I really, really appreciate it. And I am really, I was really, really surprised. And I was really, really bewildered that I could actually make 100,000 at that my age. If you're in Nigeria, you know how things are hard. You know how money is difficult to make. We are not in abroad that working for an hour or two, you're, you're paid $200. No, here in Nigeria, you will work your ass out before you get that $200. <laughs> so yes, let's just dive into the video. Then I was in university and I'm still in university, by the way. I was in my second year. I had finished my first year and I was in my second year when I had lavished money in my first year, which I regret. If I had known what I know now, I wouldn't have lived that kind of life when I was in my first year. But that's by the way, I was only enjoying life. So I was in my second year and I told myself that, see, because after your second year, you will normally go for a one year IT. And I was like, see, after that one, um, during that one year IT, I wouldn't just want to be going for the IT, like going to an organization to go and do something. I would like to set myself up and um, let me maybe start something. And luckily for me, we had a garage, like a parking space in the house. And I was like, there is this garage here. There is this parking space here. So it is something I cannot. Act I can. I can actually make something from like i can make money from this garage and my course is animal health technology then it was animal health and production so as you go further you narrow down so, so i decided to go for animal health technology and missed animal production so in my second year i thought about it and then i think my dad was sent, was giving me i think it was my pocket money was twenty thousand naira monthly then and i am this person that i do not eat much i don't i am not that i am not a chopper i am not an eater i don't know if you guys what i mean but i do not have a large appetite my stomach is so tiny that i don't consume much so i think it was much more easier for me to save to start up my poultry business then um so i started saving in money i would normally use to like get what i do not need as at then i'll just keep it aside maybe send it to my mom or send it to my sister or just leave i am not good with saving so i do not leave money in my bank account you hardly catch me with money in my bank account i don't leave money out I, I i only give it to people to help me hold like people i trust my mom my sister to help me hold the money so then when, once my dad sends me money i take the little i want out of it to get textbooks and to get whatever i need i um whatever i want or i need in my school and i take little to also buy food stuff at least i will need to eat uh, no matter how i say my stomach is small so i'll just take little from it and save the rest i was saving let's say 70 percent of the money that means 70 percent of 20k i wasn't spending up to I wasn't spending up to 10,000. I was spending close to 15,000 then monthly. So that was how I was able to save. And I started my poultry. I I think I finished school in December, November, December. And I started, no, I finished school in October, November. Before I had done my project, I had already started what I was doing. So I started my fish, my poultry farm, sorry. Mind you, I am into fish farming now here in Kaduna. So if you're interested, if you want to buy, please drop it in the comment section. So I started it in October, November, I can't remember, um, 2020. And I started with 50 chickens. And you know, when you're starting something, you do it was what I read. But practice is different from theory. I only know what I was supposed to know through theory, like writing it down. But practically, I knew nothing about poetry. So it was a big risk for me to take, but I just had to take it left and once, right? And um, it was, I think it was 
towards lockdown but not during lockdown lockdown started 2020 okay yes lockdown started 2020 and i started my farming 2019 towards the ending so yeah i can't remember sure, but i think that was what happened so um i started it and i started with 50 chickens in 2019 and that cost me about i think i spent about seventy thousand plus and i still had to like learn from my mom learn from my dad learn from my sisters to be able to feed them until six seven weeks and i think my mortality then was close to 10. I lost about 10 chickens which was really painful for me as the first timer it is normal so i was really 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 bad i felt really bad and it was discouraging but i kept pushing to some point i had to borrow money from my mom my sister to feed them to be able to feed them until it's eight, eight weeks and luckily for me they grew very big and could one chicken could feed um i think 10 people was then i think one chicken would feed 15 20 people then the that's that is to show how big the chickens were and i sold each from like the least i sold my chicken then was two five two thousand five hundred naira. Uh, for you to buy a chicken of two five as of 2019 you know how big the chicken is and luckily for me my sister got married that year too so they needed chicken and since it is my father that will pay i sold it for him at three thousand <laughs> I sold it for him at 3,000 Naira. I had other people that came to buy. I had other people that, like, you buy, you tell another person, I can't, did you see the chicken? That like, they are big. And you'll be like, oh, let me go and get my own. You come and buy, you tell people. So that was how I was able to make my 100,000 Naira at 19. And I was really proud of myself. Like, I was really proud, proud. I knew the kind of sleepless night I had to go through just to feed my chicks. Like, you know when you are scared like when you're going into the pen the following morning after feeding them and all you do not know um the condition you go and meet your chickens you know that kind of fear that kind of anxiety that comes with it because you definitely panic what if i just open the pen and find out that <laughs> my chickens are dead it is possible it happens you leave healthy chickens and the following day they are dead they are gone and there is nothing you can do about it except maybe you eat dead chickens which i do not do because of my religion so yeah that was how i made my first one hundred thousand naira. so yeah i made i sold them i think it took me one to two weeks to sell all my chickens it's up to two weeks i can't remember but i think it took me one week plus to sell my chickens and i made hundred thousand naira just from 50 chickens but now for you to make hundred thousand naira from poultry farming then you need to have a large scale poultry farm because of how things are expensive um just this evening uh, my mom was telling me how um a day old chick is now 950 this is something i used to buy um 250 at most if it wants to get expensive and 300 naira for one but now you get it for 950 that is like triple the amount i used to get it in 2019 2020 so you can tell how you can obviously can see how things are now expensive and for you to make hundred thousand naira from you can, i don't even think you can make hundred thousand naira from 50 chickens again for you to be making hundred thousand naira from 50 chickens from as you again then you should be having at least 200 chickens and more so yeah that was how i made my first hundred thousand naira i am using this i'm not using this video to borrow hundred thousand naira is a chicken tin for most of you so but i am being grateful and appreciative and i am being proud of myself i know my my background i know where i am coming from or i know where i came from and this is just a video to encourage anybody out there if you want to go into farming i cannot afford that business where i can proudly talk about farming if you want to go into farming if farming is something you like please go for it but be ready to have that mind be ready to have that strong mind and know that it may not come out well it may or may not come out well though that is for every business but farming is different like there is something different about farming because it has to do with life <laughs> it has to do with life like your animal's life it has to do with health and all of that so if farming is something you're interested in animal farming if it's something you're interested in please go into it the money is there all you need to do is the capital the man know how i is it the know how man or whatever the, the techniques have the money the capital the knowledge you can also learn as you go because if you don't start you cannot learn and i would advise that if you're going into farming start in the small little so that in case you want to make any mistake you make it on that little skill and not make it a big mistake on the large skill it will be dead bad for you to handle so yeah i hope i've been able to encourage one or two persons out there 
I have a second YouTube channel, Neymar's Journey. It is in the description box. Please do well to check it out. There we do vlogs, lifestyle and vlogs. While we do chit chat videos and everything in between on this channel. I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye.